am here to share a haul video with you guys of some things that I have been picking up recently. Just a few things, beauty items, some things I needed, um, and then some things I wanted, of course. Um, I checked out the new MAC collection, the Indulge Me, if I'm not mistaken, collection. I picked up a few things from there, and then I picked up a few other things. So if you are interested, please stay tuned. Okay guys, so I did go and check out the MAC Indulge Me collection. I usually don't check out their collections. I don't really collect MAC anymore, but I heard so many good things about this collection that I went to the store and I checked it out and I did pick up a few items. Um, so they are in this MAC bag here. So let me show you what I actually picked up from the collection. I believe I only picked up... Oh, I picked up five things from the collection five things from the collection and I'll just start with the first thing which is an eyeshadow so I picked up one of the eyeshadows this one is called divine decadence and it's a velux um, so I picked that up because it was just the nicest shade I thought for fall so let me show you I didn't even use any of these products yet I have so many makeup products I need to get to using them but I wanted to show you guys this first before I started digging into them so this is the Divine Decadence. It's like a really pretty bronze tone and I can swatch it so you guys can see. Highly, highly pigmented. Beautiful color. I thought this would be perfect for fall and um, you know just all over the lid for fall. Like easy like everyday sort of smoky look um, and it's just so gorgeous and this was the only eyeshadow I thought was um, worth it so I picked up this eyeshadow then I picked up new two nail polishes and I never ever buy nail polishes from MAC because I'm more of like a SEOPI girl but I did pick up two nail polishes because they were absolutely gorgeous so I picked up Magnificent Feast and Simply Sweet so I'll show you Magnific Magnificent Feast first forgive me it's the end of the day I'm super tired <laughs> So my words are getting mixed up but this is just a gorgeous gorgeous um like shimmery antique goal i thought on the nails that would just be ugh, just to die for and perfect for like the holidays and things like that we are going into um the holiday season so i thought that'd be perfect and then i also got the like i said the simply sweet and this is more of like a almost like a gunmetal color to me like a pewter almost or even like a peridot because I have a little bit of green it's just beautiful and I normally don't like I said pick up MAC nail polishes but I had to get these these are so freaking cute I love it so stinking cute so the next thing I got I got one of the fluid lines and I've never owned a fluid line by MAC because I really don't hear too many good things about the fluid line um, I really love the Clinique fluid line or the Clinique gel eyeliner but I decided to pick up the fluid line in rich ground as you can see it's like a really pretty dark copper tone and I thought that would be so so pretty on days where you um, I don't want to wear something like black eyeliner um, but it'll still give me definition it was just gorgeous when I saw the um tester of it out and it was like almost completely gone so i knew this is probably one of the products that people are definitely loving from the collection and again it's rich ground i cannot wait to start using it the last product i picked up is a lip glass and i really don't like mac lip glasses that much i prefer the cream sheens if anything because these are so sticky but this color is just too gorgeous so i picked it up and this one is called fashion punch and it's just a really pretty beige tone with a little bit of pink in it. So I thought like over any nude lipstick or even by itself, it would be really, really pretty. Um, I guess I can swatch this one as well for you. Yeah, that's really gorgeous beige tone, as you can see, with just a tad bit of pink in it. And for my skin tone, it's like the perfect nude color. Let me try some on. Yeah, it's beautiful, but it is sticky but I'll live. 
So that's what I picked up from MAC. Now onto the other things that I picked up. Now I needed a new toner and you guys know that I've been using the Neutrogena, um, what is it called? Neutrogena, da, 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 da. what is that one called? It's like the Rapid Clear, but I could not find it anywhere. My best friend was checking different drugstores. She couldn't find it anywhere. So I ended up just getting the Oil-Free Acne Stress Control and I've used this before and I like it. So I picked that up because I needed a new toner and it works just fine. Then I picked up this set here, which is a Clarisonic set. It's the Deep Pore Detoxifying Solution set and it has a detoxifying clay mask. It has the Deep Pore Daily Cleanser and it also has a the, uh, Deep Pore Brush Head. And I needed a new brush head for my Clarisonic and I wanted to try a new wash so I thought this set was just perfect and it made perfect sense because it is a really great deal and you get three items and I needed a new brush head anyway so I decided to pick it up and I've tried the deep pore cleansing brush head before right now I have the acne brush on my um, Clarisonic and it works great but um, I just decided to get this one and then I got the clay mask I'll show you that I already uh, I already own one of these get it together I already own one of these but you know it doesn't hurt to have another one and I actually really do like it as a mask and as a spot treatment when you're sleeping it's really really nice and then I got the deep pore daily cleansing foaming gel and apparently this is supposed to work really well with the Clarisonic we shall see um, I have a soap that I'm trying to finish up by Clinique and then I'll go ahead and start to use this I'll let you guys know how I like that. I picked up a new um, eye makeup remover, the Take the Day Off by Clinique. You guys have probably seen this and know what it is because it is a famous <laughs> eye makeup remover. I used to use this um, for years, but then I just started trying different things. And before this, this last eye makeup remover I had was the Kills eye makeup remover. But I decided to get something that works just a little bit faster because sometimes when I get home I just want to take off my makeup, hurry up, wash my face, and then, um, you know, take a shower and go to sleep. So this just removes all the makeup, waterproof um, eyeliner, waterproof mascara, just takes it all off really, really fast. And if you have sensitive eyes, if you're a contact wearer, it does not irritate the eyes. Okay, now I also picked up some more Clinique things. How could I not? So I replenished um, on my foundation. This is my Holy Girl foundation. It's what I wear every single day. Um, if I'm wearing makeup, this is probably what I'll have on. Unless I'm going out, I'll probably have like a, Ch a Chanel foundation or my um, uh, Estee Lauder Double Wear. But on a daily basis to work, this is what I wear. I get so many compliments on this. You would not even believe and I want to say almost every day someone asks me what foundation I'm wearing and I tell them it's this and they cannot believe it. It works so well and when I take it off it doesn't feel like I've had like a ton of makeup on. It doesn't feel like my pores are clogged. It doesn't feel like I'm about to get acne or anything. It's just a really really good foundation. I also decided to try um, one of the newer products. It's the All About Shadow Primer for Eyes and I got the shade 02 Moderately Fair. So it looks like that and oh it's just like a it really doesn't have a lot of color and then when you spread it out it's almost like a silicone base it's really really nice um, I can't wait to start to use this um, normally I will just use concealer um, but I have really oily lids so by the end of the day my eyeshadow is all creased up which is annoying, so I decided to go ahead and get a new eyeshadow primer. I also picked up a new um, liner for my brows, a brow liner. Oh no, it's not in here. Fine liner for brows by Clinique. I used to use this brow pencil all the time. It's just like the MAC one. Um, I think they're the same price, but this one is actually a little bit of a better color for me, so I decided to pick one of these up. Right now I'm using the MAC one, which I absolutely love, but I'm trying to finish it up so I can start using this one. This one is a little bit of a um, warmer brown, and it looks really, really good um, on my skin tone, so I decided to pick that up. And then the last thing from Clinique I got was one of the new Intense Eyeliners. And I have the Intense Peridot, which is a really, really pretty metallic green gold. And then I decided to get the, let me show you, 
you swatch it the deep is it called no it's called intense aubergine it's number 15 so it's just a really pretty pretty aubergine almost like eggplant purple color and this is really nice again if you don't want something as harsh as the black um, but you want the definition and purple eyeliners are just beautiful especially if they're like a natural purple they look really really good on the eyes and I love these eyeliners by Clinique they're like my favorite once you let them dry down they don't smudge they don't go anywhere and I can put them in my waterline and they don't make my eyes water or hurt so love them and as you can't tell I'm a big fan of Clinique Okay, so the last thing I picked up was a hair product, just one hair product. I picked up the Kiehl's Super Superbly Smoothing Argan Hair Pact. And you guys know I love the olive fruit oil one. This is the Argan one. It has a very heavy fragrance. So if you want to try this, just be aware. Um, let me show you the text. Um, if you can tell, I used it so it's a little bit of water in it from the shower. But I'll show you the texture. It's just a very creamy consistency a little bit runny but not too runny but it's really really moisturizing and it does really help to um, control my frizz I just like it a lot and it smells amazing but it is a very heavy 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 fragrance so if you don't like that you might not want to check that out so that was all of our products that I picked up recently um, I hope you guys enjoy if you have any questions about anything please let me know down below in the comment section thank you so much for watching my videos I appreciate you Thank you, and um, also, if you have not, don't forget to hit the like button if you like, and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you, guys. See you later.